Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about none other than Jada Youngin. Now, Jada Youngin is a Houston slash Louisiana rapper, man, and dude got locked up about a week ago, right? Well, this story has more twists and turns to it than you would expect because J.D. Youngin then got somebody fired. Now, this is all according to reports out there, and they're basically saying that J.D. Youngin, after getting locked up, did some things he wasn't supposed to. And they're also alleging that a guard that worked at the prison or at the jail he was at did some things they weren't supposed to. And this all led up to the guard being terminated, losing their job, and it's a wild story to say the least. Now, before we get to the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, man, let's talk about J.D. Youngin, man. Now, the big issue with J.D. Youngin is this dude cannot stop getting arrested, man. Ever since last year, he's been arrested several times, man. It seems like he can't stay out of the trouble with the law, and it's having an effect on his music career, because you barely hear any music from dude. All you hear about is him getting arrested, man. And he's had some wild charges in the past, and it looks like you would think in this situation, since he's facing some very serious charges, he would take it serious. But according to some reports out there, and specifically, I'm be reading a report from The Advocate, it'll leave you to question if he's taking this serious at all, man, because he's, it sounds like he made some mistakes. Now, in the headline of this article, it says this. It says, rapper Jada Youngin posts Instagram photo from A Meat City Jail cell. Employee who took it, fired. So A Meat City Jail is where he's, I mean, I guess that's where he's locked up right now, right? And it looks like one of the employees helped him take the photo, so he got fired. Now, in the story, it says this. It says, after a prominent rapper was arrested and accused of aiding in a gang-related murder in Tangapahoa Parish last year, he posted a picture for his 2.4 million Instagram followers posing inside his Amy City jail cell. So they're saying that basically J.D. Youngin took a picture in his jail cell and posted it on social media. Now, I'm not sure if the pictures that they had out there last, last week that were on his page that are no longer on his page are the exact photos that they're talking about or that they're referencing in this story, but there was a lot of pictures and even a video of the rapper being arrested that were posted on his social media. So let's look at a clip of that video really quick. Now, as you saw in that video clip, J.D. Youngin was getting handcuffed and arrested and whatnot, right? That video used to be on his social media page, but it's since been taken down. Now, let's see what the story says or continues to say. It says this. It says, now the warden says a jail employee took the picture and that employee was fired. So it's wild that J.D. Youngin ended up, you know, with him getting a picture taken of him and it put on his social media page. It looks like, you know, the chain reaction to that was somebody actually losing their job, man, which is serious, right? And since then, these pictures have all been taken off his social media, even the video that I just showed, right? Okay, and the story continues like this, man. It says, the employee photographed Javarius Scott, who goes by the stage name J.D. Youngin, near the end of his four-day stint in the jail last week. Now, according to the warden, Heath Martin, Scott shared the pictures soon after he posted bail. The pictures have since disappeared from Scott's account. Now, I understand capitalizing off of any situation, right? Even getting locked up in this weird situation we have going on in hip hop today, man, you can capitalize off that. You put those pictures up, stories run, people check you out. A lot of people start to get interested. Not saying that's advice. That is, a, that is not a smart way to try to get some promo. Trust me, man. But I kind of understand them trying to capitalize off that situation, right? But you got to think the plan all the way through. And obviously, this jailhouse employee didn't think about that part of it, that he could be potentially losing his job. Now, the story also continues by saying this. In quotes, it says, Upon being notified of posting of the photo, we immediately investigated, Martin said, in a message to the advocate. So this is basically the warden reaching out to the advocate to, you know, give his take on why they fired the person. Also in quotes, it says, investigations proved an employee took the picture just before his release. The employee was terminated for violating policy that same day. So they didn't even wait. As soon as they found out, they fired dude and immediately he lost his job, man. 
Sorry for him, you know what I mean? Now, the story also continues to say this. It says, Tangipahoa deputies book Scott, a Bogalooza resident whose songs have millions of Spotify streams on September 16th as an accessory to a gang-related killing at a trailer ride last summer. Chief Jimmy Travis told the advocate. So basically, the, the chief of police is just, you know, letting him know why they took the actions that they took and, you know, the charges that are levied against J.D. Young and what he's facing, I should say. The Instagram photo that cost the employee their job showed Scott sitting in his cell wearing a white t-shirt, shorts, and a white headband and orange sandals. A pile of what appears to be orange jail garb lies next to him. In quotations, it says, all is well now, Scott wrote in the photo's caption. Martin declined to disclose the dismissed employee's identity, saying their transgressions was a policy violation, not a criminal one. So basically, they didn't break any laws. They just broke the internal policy of the jail. So that way it was, you know, they could terminate their employment, but they won't be facing any type of criminal charges because, you know, taking a picture is a serious offense. But man, it's not that serious, obviously, according to this jail. Right now, what it doesn't talk about is is the fact that J.D. Youngin, you know, took the photo down anyway. So why in the world did this dude have to lose his job? And it's down right now. Now, it also says this. It finishes by saying this, I should say. It says, Scott did not return a request for comment on Tuesday. So basically saying that they don't have anything else to say about this matter as far as the jail is concerned. Now, as far as J.D. Youngin, it goes, it looks like, man, yes, he's facing some very serious charges. But in all actuality, it just adds to the list of all the other charges that J.D. Youngin has stacked up against him right now, man. It's looking pretty crazy if you were to look at his rap sheet. You know what I mean? He's got this shooting case that he was allegedly involved in. Then he's got the other cases, the one that he had in Atlanta or whatnot. I don't know how that's turned out. The one that he had in Houston, which was had a whole bunch of weapons and stuff like that. It's just It's been a lot with J.D. Youngin, man. I mean, on the outside, it makes it look like he was out here running wild, but we don't know if that's facts or if all these charges are really true, man. Like I said, you're innocent until proven guilty, and hopefully he lawyers up and can fight these cases and beat these charges if it's not, if it's all false, man, if it's not real, you know what I mean? Now, with that, what do you guys think about J.D. Youngin, man? Do you think that J.D. Youngin maybe has gone too far deep, like he's caught too many charges for too many different offenses, and now it's just, you know, it's not it's not going to be possible for him to stay in the rap game and still maintain some level of success? Or do you feel that the groundwork that he laid beforehand is enough for him to continue to strive in the rap game, and hopefully he'll be able to pull himself up out of this hole? Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell, so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.